How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. Today we're going to be installing our wood stove in our shop. As you can see behind me here, we have been prepping the wall. We've got some cement board up. We're also going to be putting on stone veneer back there and we've got a hearth all laid out. Uh, some of that stuff may or may not be necessary, but uh, we wanted to protect the wall and I thought it would look good too. That's going to be a whole separate video, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a big old thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Now, the main thing you're going to need for this install, other than your wood stove, of course, is going to be your chimney kit. We're going to be using the Duravent 6-inch through the wall kit. So what we're going to do is we're going to be going up, and we're going to go in through the wall and then back up on the outside. I like that better than going up through the roof just because I think it's going to be less likely to have water leak issues and things like that. So this is the Duravent Dura Plus 6 inch through the wall kit. We will have links to all this stuff in the description below if you want to check it out and get it for yourself. So let's stop wasting time and get to work. Now before we start installing the wood stove, we wanted to make sure the wall behind the stove was protected. So we're putting up some cement board on the wall behind the stove and we're also going to be putting in some plywood backer in the area that we're going to be cutting a hole into the wall. Now since we have a concrete floor, we probably could set the wood stove directly onto this concrete floor, but just for a little extra protection and because we thought it looked good, we're going to add some pavers down here to make a hearth for the wood stove. Now we're going to measure and mark out for the hole that we need to cut into the wall, and we're just going to be cutting that with our jigsaw. Once we have it cut through on the inside, we're gonna take our drill and go ahead and drill in some reference holes before we head to the outside to cut through the siding. We're gonna use those reference holes that we drilled to mark out our spot. Then we're gonna use the jigsaw to cut it out. Now back on the inside, we're getting ready to put our wall thimble in and we're going to prep our clean out tee to put through the wall. I really like these Duravent products because each piece of the chimney pipe fits together and just twists locks into place. Now back outside, we're gonna put the outside portion of the thimble on the wall and begin to seal some gaps. To seal those gaps, we use fire block foam and fire rated caulk. Once we have our mounting bracket assembled, we're gonna get started putting that up on the wall. And right about here is where we realize we're gonna to need to do something a little different to push this chimney out a little bit further away from the wall. So we're gonna go back into the shop and build us a bracket that will hold it just a little further out from the wall. Again, we're gonna get that clean out T fitted into place and then start putting on our three foot triple wall chimney sections. Like I said, these are really easy to put on. They just drop down into place and then twist to lock. And then using the included brackets, we're gonna secure it to the wall. Now 
Only thing left to do now is put our cap on top and we are done. All right, guys, now we are pretty much finished out here. I did want to mention a couple things that I ran into that I wanted to talk to you guys about. You'll notice that I ended up having to build a bracket here at the bottom to push it out a little further away from the wall. The reason I had to do that is because of this overhang at the top. The Duravent kit only allows you to go about two inches away from the wall. And to get over that overhang and the roof panels, I had to go about six inches. So I built this bracket out of angle iron and secured that to the wall and then secured the bracket that came with the kit to that. And that allowed me to get it far enough away from the wall that I could still get up past that overhang. Keep in mind that the further you get away from the wall, the longer your piece that goes through the wall needs to be. Luckily mine ended up being just enough, uh, but any further and I definitely would have had to go with a longer through the wall piece. So I ran into a few issues, but we got it done. It's not quite high enough above the roof right now. I probably only got about 16 inches of clearance from the roof. So to get the clearances that the manufacturer suggests, we're gonna need to add about another two foot of chimney pipe up there and we will do that. But for now, we're done with the outside. Now because my wood stove has a rectangular opening on top, I had a hell of a time trying to find this adapter that goes from the rectangle to the eight inch round. Um, I will put a link to that in the description below. A lot of these old cast iron stoves, especially ones that were used as fireplace inserts, may have that rectangular opening on top. And so hopefully I can help you guys out finding the right adapter for that. Now we can start installing our interior pipe. This is just black single wall stove pipe. And we're just gonna make sure we keep everything nice and level and measure and cut everything to the size we need. And we are done guys, I think it's turned out great. And it's just in time for winter, I can't wait to get this thing fired up and get some heat going in this shop. All right, that is it for our wood stove install. I hope this video helped you guys out. Don't forget guys, we are gonna have links to all this stuff in the description below. And if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and give us a big old thumbs up. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the next few videos. We are gonna be putting a stone veneer up on the wall behind the wood stove and a whole lot of other big shop projects coming up. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time.